in Turkey with the Shangri-La again, and I'm slowly realizing it's becoming one of my favorite hotel chains because the, it's just like such a good hotel. Like from the staff, you know what to expect. The small details and all the like the rooms, the lobby, the hotel, everything is taken care of. They have everything covered, the restaurants, the food, like anything you need, you pretty much can get here. So it's really nice to get to experience traveling with them. This is not a sponsored ad by any means. They're just um, hosting us. Had a little bit of a mishap in the airport and didn't have visas and no one told us that we needed visas. So Paige and I were just trying to figure it all out and our cards weren't working so we couldn't buy a visa because everything was getting blocked by our banks and it was just a little bit of a mess for a good hour, hour and a half and we thought we might not be able to leave the airport and I had to fly home to New York. But we figured it out and we fixed it. Turkey has been like a dream of mine to visit for the longest time because I was born in Bulgaria which borders Turkey and I've always had like friends from Turkey I've had people like visiting Bulgaria that are from Turkey and I've always just heard amazing things about Turkey and I've always wanted to visit but never got the chance finally got the opportunity so I'm so excited to be here and we're in Bosphorus right now and it's one of the cutest cities I've ever been in this is our room and can we just take a moment to admire this bathroom it is so amazing um, and then we have the time here in case you're running late and you need to know the time. It is so epic in here. This is our closet. Our view of the water is different. How stunning is this? Outfit change because I wanted to be casual, did not want to wear heels, so I only have like two looks that I can wear with sneakers here. So we're back to the look I already wore in Dubai. But we're shopping right now, and then yeah, we're gonna get dinner outside somewhere so we can sit and enjoy this beautiful weather. And I need a glass of wine because it's been a long day. Street. It's literally a block away from the hotel, you guys. We immediately saw, what was it, the salmon fettuccine, and I'm like, okay, decided we're getting it. Also, I did the conversion, you guys. This in New York, like a salmon fettuccine would be about $30. Here, it's like six something, seven. I got the salmon fettuccine Alfredo, and Paige got chicken and mushroom Alfredo, I believe. Good morning guys. So we just finished getting ready. It is Sunday morning here in Turkey and I just made myself some of my favorite coffee which is the little Nespresso and I'm having myself a little shot right now to help wake me up. Everything that we kind of wanted to shoot is all around there so we figured we spent a whole day there. That area is much more historical and I'm really excited to see that part of Turkey. I'm about to steam on my clothes because they're so wrinkled from the suitcase. I think because Dubai was so warm and humid. Yesterday we had a funny little moment in the cab. So on our way back from the mall, we got gypped by the cab driver. We didn't know how to get out of the situation because he was very aggressive about it. So what happened was on our way from our hotel, which you guys know I'm staying at the Shangri-La in Istanbul, we went to, I think it was called Zolis, and from our hotel to Zolis, it was 20 Turkish, Turkish, Dollars? no, the currency, what's the currency name here? Is it like Lira? No. Okay. Lira? Or, 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 or I think it's Lira. Okay. I need to look it up. I don't know yet. So anyways, it was 20 Turkish currency. On our way back, we get in a cab. 
and it was a cab from the mall too so I thought it was legit we get in the cab and he already starts driving off before he even asks us where we're going so then I like tell him where we're going Paige and I were trying to figure out how to communicate with him and he just goes a hundred and I was like trying to tell him no well first of all there's a meter he's like the meter is broken and I'm like well why am I even in this cab like I'm not gonna about to do this this is gonna be a whole situation that I'm not about to get into and then he's like no meter, a hundred. And I was like, we're not paying a hundred when we paid 20 to get here and we're taking the same distance back. So then he starts taking it down to 75 and then 50 and I was like, 20. We'll do 25 max. We're tired and we just wanted to get back so we ended up going for 50. But I was like so annoyed. I'm like, lesson learned. Not doing that again. Only getting in metered cabs. And they also don't have Ubers here because they told us that they were illegal. Found out that the Grand Bazaar is closed today. So all done up in this outfit that was planned for the Grand Bazaar and we hop into our cab downstairs in the lobby and the guy was nice enough to tell us that it was closed today which saved us a lot of disappointment when we got there. But now we have to come back and change outfits because these were Grand Bazaar outfits. So now we're gonna be more casual for the rest of the stuff we were gonna see there. I just quickly changed into this look doing my white sandals and I'm keeping the hat because I think it's cute and I brought it all the way from New York and I haven't worn it once so I figured I need to actually wear it um yeah these pants I just got from Zara yesterday and then this bodysuit I've been getting a lot of questions about it on my Instagram I've tagged it on my blog under shop my IG by this place called Maya's Corner, which is what we told them, or where we told them to drop us off. And now we're just walking around that area. <laughs> I, just, I love all of the little like restaurants outside and the little stores. This feels way more cultural and like traditional, which I love seeing that side. Oh, and I love all of the little rugs and stuff. And one thing I learned is, I didn't know this, but when you're in a taxi and I guess it's prayer time. The taxi drivers turn off the radio music in the car. I had no idea that was a thing, and I guess it is. I think that's so cool and like respectable. to try some real Turkish food today so our hotel recommended this restaurant and it looks absolutely amazing we're sitting outside because the weather is just perfect guys I totally forgot to vlog and I ate almost half my pizza but I got a Turkish pizza because I wanted the um, I think it's pronounced du Duran Duran um, but it was sold out because it's so popular here and it's so good so Paige and I both wanted that they didn't have it so she ended up getting a kebab with so rice good. and it's so good and I got a Turkish pizza which is pretty much a thin crust pizza with there's no cheese and it's just lamb with seasoning and then tomatoes I believe okay guys we are grabbing breakfast right now and I have this amazing latte that looks so good and I have a little bit of 
muesli with fruit, fresh fruit in there. So today should be a really exciting day. We are working with Rolls Royce and we're gonna go get lunch at this amazing restaurant that they recommended. Then we're headed to the Grand Bazaar, which we didn't get to do yesterday because it was closed on Sundays and we had no idea. So we're going today and that will also be exciting because I'm really excited to shop around and get some souvenirs for everyone back home and buy some cute goodies from Turkey. So that will be a good time. Okay guys, we just got in our Rolls Royce. So now we're heading to the fortress and then we are gonna get lunch and then we're headed back to change before we head to the Grand Bazaar. Take a quick sit <laughs> while Paige is up there exploring and seeing if I should risk going up there with her depending on what the view situation is up there. So just to let you know, I did not know we were going to this tower. I had no idea, otherwise I would have brought flats. Okay guys, we just came to Mavi Balik. I hope I'm saying that right. It's a seafood restaurant and I'm really excited to try some of this. Food, but one of the best parts is definitely this view. We are outside right now and this is quite epic. This lunch reminds me of my lunch I would used to eat back home when I lived in Bulgaria. It's literally the most simple salad with cucumbers and tomatoes, olive oil and vinegar, and then fresh feta cheese is like the best ever. Story just not uploading. It's been like this the whole trip. It'll be the death of me. We are at the Grand Bazaar right now. And there's just like gold and silver and souvenirs and goodies and a bunch of different things. So we're going to explore and see if we can find something to bring home. Okay guys, we just got back to our room and are so beat. We somehow got lost at the Grand Bazaar. It was amazing inside. We got some jewels. Um, I got a, a ring and then some earrings. I got Lyle a little gift. And then Paige also got, what did you get? A ring. She got a ring. And everything was really cute. I guess that someone told us that they're known for like their silver, their gold. It's really nice quality. It's not that expensive. You really have to bargain with them though because they will try to upsell you or overprice. Anywho, um, and then we were leaving and I swear we were lost for an hour. I had no idea how big this thing was and I think we even somehow exited the Grand Bazaar but there was more streets everywhere. We walked for about an hour and I wore the wrong shoes so my feet are just full of blisters right now and I'm in so much pain. I need to like soak them. But we finally uh, found a cab and then we had the same issue today that we had yesterday. The cabs would not take us home to the hotel so we couldn't figure out what's going on and I guess it's something about traffic. Every cab would kept saying traffic, traffic, traffic. And I'm like, but it's a metered cab wouldn't they be getting paid to take us back? I don't know, I'm still so confused about it. After like seven or eight cabs of us like searching and asking them to please take us to the hotel, this guy finally said yes and happily took us back to the hotel and it was actually quicker to get back than it was to even get there and there was no traffic on the way there so I'm a little confused but I don't know. I'm so glad we're back in the room and we are just gonna catch up on everything right now because I haven't edited a single like photo from turkey i'm so behind on content and okay guys this is one of the rings i picked up from the grand bazaar yesterday it's so pretty and sparkly i'm obsessed 